Welcome to Request of Zamir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. How can you back up and restore Azure Data Factory? That's uh, one of the important questions because sometime uh, maybe you have uh, some developer or some maybe admins who has dropped the data factory or can drop by mistake. So in that case, it's good to know how you can back up and restore Azure Data Factory. So first of all, uh, if you have uh, dropped the Azure Data Factory and you have not saved the ARM template, you are in very bad situation and you cannot really restore the Azure Data Factory. That's why it is always recommended when you create the Data Factory at the same time uh, what you will do, you will go to the Manage or at the time of starting it asks you for the Git configuration. Uh, and uh, what you will do there, you will go ahead and configure uh, your uh, Azure Data Factory source control and it will give you two options here. You can either save your uh, Azure Data Factory all the pipeline, link services and everything in the GitHub or you can save in Azure DevOps Git. Uh, so these are uh, two resource uh, source repositories can be used uh, to save your uh, Azure Data Factory. It will create a, a, a ADF publish folder in that uh, repository and uh, there would be ARM template uh, that you can use uh, to restore the Data Factory. Now. In the case, uh, if you have not set up and you want to take a backup and restore, that's possible as well. In that case, uh, you will be going to the ARM template and here you can uh, export. So export your Azure Data Factory as ARM template. Once you export it, then you can import back um, to the, so you, uh, import ARM template by using this tab right there. Okay, so also you can go directly in the Azure and say import template and uh, you know, uh, it will show you how to import that as well. Uh. So this is a uh, two ways. I always uh, suggest people when they create the Azure Data Factory, you know, go ahead and uh, do the Git configuration. So your all the changes uh, and uh, uh, definitions, whatever the triggers, you know, uh, all the objects are saved in the uh, your source uh, control. That's a Git Hub or Git uh, Azure DevOps Git repository. And uh, then uh, in case uh, you drop it, you can create a restore by using the ARM template from that uh, uh, source. Uh, control uh, you know but that you have used uh, and the other way if you want to do more like manually you can always go export by using export arm template then import back uh. thank you very much for watching please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, just to let you know i have the videos on both of these scenarios in the azure data factory playlist uh, where you can find them how to back up how to restore azure data factory and i have all the steps mentioned so it will help you to walk you through those uh, steps um,